Good morning, fourth grade online learners. Uh, we are going to continue our discussion today about the circulatory and respiratory systems. Um, you should have read all the text in your book by now and start preparing for tomorrow's quiz with the study guide on Google Classroom under lesson plans and study guide. Today's website has some uh, good uh, information on the circulatory and respiratory system. I did print that out for myself. Um, and, and this is only part of the website. There's a, there's a lot more to it. But I picked out the part I thought was most relevant to us. And there's some new facts in here that weren't in yesterday's website. The circulatory system consists of your heart and blood vessels. The heart's job is to pump blood throughout your body. The left side of the heart takes in oxygen-rich blood from the lungs and pumps it to other parts of the body. I believe that was in yesterday's text. Uh, from the website. The, rib, the right side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs and adds oxygen to it. Now this, this was new, this part was new today from yesterday. The heart has a very busy job. When you are resting, when you're resting or sleeping, your heart pumps between 60 to 100 times each minute. When you are exercising, it pumps much faster to deliver blood to your muscles. So we did talk about the heart speeding up and slowing down, but now you know when you're resting, your resting heart rate is between 60 and 100 times uh, per minute. The heart is responsible for get, getting the oxygen to your muscles, but it is the respiratory system's job to provide the oxygen. This means that the circulatory system is directly linked to the respiratory system, so they work together. And the next section talked about the respiratory system, gathering oxygen and removing carbon dioxide. The main part of the respiratory system is the lungs. It is the lungs job to bring air in, into and out of the body. Oxygen from the air you inhale moves through small blood vessels and enters the bloodstream. It then hitches a ride on red blood cells and travels to all parts of the body. The blood coming back to the lungs contains car carbon dioxide. When you exhale, you remove carbon dioxide, which your body does not need anymore, and then plants take that and turn it back into oxygen. So a lot of good facts on today's website. Uh, please take a look at it. And there was more sections. I didn't print them all out. Um, you know, before you start summarizing, re read things that you think you have not seen the day before. Sometimes these websites are very similar. And avoid cutting and pasting your answer. We want to give credit to the people who put this information on the website. And if we just cut and paste and use that for our summary, you're, you're stealing the answers. You can summarize what you learned, but really, if you're cutting and pasting, it's, it's not the proper way to do it. And we, we've discussed that before, and I saw last week some people continue to do it. Um, sometimes it's hard to catch, but it, it's frustrating when I do catch it because I know we've talked about it. So good luck and prepare well for tomorrow's quiz, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.